welcome to show everybody our first year garden here uh, these here are our cucumbers and I, I watched a lot of videos and about gardening and what have you and a lot of them just make it seem so hard well we really didn't do anything and as you can see I do need to weed that's about the only thing that we do to our garden is pull some weeds down again and that's about it otherwise we've just put seeds in the ground and everything just grew so here's our lettuce patch and our pepper plants which there's like five different varieties and then here's our onions which are all doing great the only thing that didn't do well and i don't know what it is but for some reason this area in here that had beans and carrots and you can kind of tell they're hmm, it's kind of lackluster but that's really it. And it's been really rain, rainy, so maybe that could be the problem. I don't know. But these are our sweet peas, our little sugar snap peas. You can see the flowers on them. They're just coming on, which I don't know, I think are kind of pretty. And then we have more cucumbers back here. We have pickling cucumbers, and we have straight eight. Haven't any problem with any of it, so. And then back over here, uh, these are more peppers. Um, Right here you can't see, but the onions just kind of died off. Uh, there are onions in there which I need to dig up. So they actually did just fine. They're about a pound each. Here's our dill. Uh, this one's actually starting to form a head. It did not get as tall as I thought it would. I thought it was supposed to get like four feet tall. It's hasn't gotten anywhere near that. Well, let's move on over here to our tomatoes. These guys will, I don't know. It's just, they're nuts. I don't know how many pounds of tomatoes are on here, but they're just everywhere. And we have several different varieties. Uh, let's see, what do we have over here? This one is a different one, you know. It's a purple Cherokee right here. I don't know if you've ever had a purple Cherokee. This is my favorite tomato. I love purple Cherokees. And then over here we have some watermelon. Here we have cantaloupe, and over here we have more of the Roma style tomatoes, just like earlier, that one. Uh, these tomatoes actually got sunburnt. Other than that, we haven't had any problems with anything, or really. That's the only tomatoes I know that got plant-wise or tomato-wise that got sunburnt. <laughs> and then here, here we've got uh, some broccoli, obviously, and the cabbage ready to come up. Had a few bugs. We took care of them early in the year. You can see there's some holes in these outer leaves. And over here, just keep going. And this guy right here, I'm gonna take him out. We had worms on these, and I did powder them with dust one time just these plants right here that's really all we've done to this whole garden area I and mean, it makes a lot more than we can eat so if you're thinking about digging yourself up a garden and planting a bunch of stuff i say go for it it's not that complicated plant the seeds they come up and you pick stuff <laughs> it's I, I just see like i said I just i've just seen so many videos that just make it look so difficult it's really not so and we don't keep it as clean as a lot of people but this is the first year this was all grass so we still keep getting the grass that wants to come up but we'll take care of that next year and then of course i've got to introduce the star of the garden if there is one so we'll be right back oh my bun bun you just about knocked your bowl out this would be our only secret weapon <laughs> yeah this is our fertilizer right here yes you are right girl yeah all right well i hope you enjoyed the video just want to encourage all of you to get out there plant your own garden have a good time and oh you want to say hi thanks for watching take care